Hello, I'm Gary from Fireblade Software. In this video I wanted to show you some of the combat features in Abandoned Ship. The world in which the game is set is one full of conflict, so as you navigate the seas undertaking quests and events you'll eventually end up in battle. We'll start by moving the crew around the ship into the best positions. The crew are class based so doing this means we'll get a bonus. The distance between ships influences your visibility, weapon range and actions you can perform. Our ship has some powerful short range weapons so I want to move close to use them. If I aim at their masts it could slow them down. One weapon that could help here is our mortar as this version fires flaming ammunition. We cause the fire on the enemy deck. If left alone fires can spread so their crew are scrambling to extinguish it. We've been hit by a weapon that causes hull cracks. These make the ship take on water and if we take on too much, we'll sink. We can lower the water level by manning the pumps at the back of the ship. As captain, it's important you prioritise what to do and when. If you like, you can pause the game and issue commands before resuming the fight. This could be helpful because often there is not enough crew to deal with everything at once and a battle can quickly spiral out of control. Ships are divided into sections. The lower the health, the worse that area will perform. Having damaged their mast section, we've caught up to them, allowing us to ram. Ramming causes hull damage and triggers a brace for impact test. Failing this test temporarily stuns crew by knocking them to the deck. Now we can pull away and launch the killing blow with our powerful short range cannons. Battles will not always be so one sided. Over the course of the game you'll be pushed to the limit, surviving on the edge but triumphing against the odds will lie in your decisions as a captain. We have loads of other elements that plug into combat, so I'll whiz through a few examples. The weather impacts the gameplay. When it's raining, fires will get extinguished. That definitely takes a sting out of your tail if you kitted out your ship with flaming weapons. If lightning strikes the deck of a ship, it starts a fire. In a storm there are tidal waves. These knock everyone to the floor on both ships and if you fail your brace test then crew could be swept overboard. When this happens they'll drown unless you rescue them by getting someone to man the winch. There are loads of different weapons and upgrades to suit your preferred playstyle. You might like to be ready for any situation and have mid-range weapons and hull armour to increase your durability. You could be a short range fighter, ramming and boarding. If you like to do this then it will be worth investing in harpoons that stop the enemy from fleeing, plus hull spikes which cause extra damage when ramming. I like to go for an approach where I basically grief the enemy. By supplementing your ship with weapons that stun your opponent you can really mess with their plans, stopping them from moving, reloading, repairing or healing. These weapons tend not to deal damage directly, but they just give the enemy something else to contend with and as long as you're dictating the battle and the enemy reacting to you, the chances of victory are high. If you prefer to keep your distance and use long range weapons, it's good to purchase an upgraded crow's nest so your visibility of the enemy is improved and you can snipe more effectively. Of course when you fight in a foggy area, your visibility is massively affected. Where you fight can also have an effect on the battle. Combat in special arctic maps means you could sustain hull damage from crashing into icebergs, although you can mitigate this by purchasing an icebreaker. I'm so excited to tell you about everything else in the game, and over the coming weeks we'll talk more about the exploration side, what happens if your ship sinks and you're stranded or in a lifeboat, and of course the big sea monster we teased in our announcement trailer. Thank you for watching and see you next time.